Okay, hello everyone. Good afternoon. It's great to be here to uh, share the research agency have collaborative learning with the autonomous language agents for commander systems. As we all know, lang large language models such as uh, GPT-4 offer a promising foundation for building the next generation of uh, recommendation systems due to their deep understanding of world knowledge, user needs, and item attributes. Nevertheless, the success of this application hinges significantly on the capabilities and uh, world knowledge embedded in large language models. This, natural, uh, this naturally leads us to ask, as these models become more powerful and uh, demonstrate even richer capabilities, how should we utilize them to construct the recommendation systems? More recently, by training on larger corporate and acquiring richer world knowledges, large language models have demonstrated, uh, demonstrated the capabilities uh, approaching human-level intelligence. This, long, this advancement has uh, sparked a significant uh, interest in deploying these models as autonomous agents. Um, but a powered agents hold a tremendous uh, potential for recommendation systems. For example, consider the possibility of simulating personalized user agents before launching a service. This agent could test it, providing feedback that could be used to make a necessary adjustment. Furthermore, we could simulate users' social interactions by acknowledging communications between these agents. This approach would enable us to model social relationships and enhance the effectiveness of recommendations. Such, such applications could lead to more robust user-centric recommendation systems that better align with the actual user preferences. While well, using recommender systems, the goal is to provide personalized service. Therefore, deploying agents in recommender systems requires simulating personalized agents. How can we achieve this? A straightforward approach is to input user profiles and the historical interactions as prompts to the large language models, asking it to acknowledge and uh, simulate user preferences. However, we found that this simple prompting method is ineffective, possibly for two reasons. Firstly, user preferences are not static. They evolve through interactions with the system. Our prior world work um, rank has shown that Large language models struggle to perceive the sequential relationships in user historical interactions and fail to grasp their dynamic evaluation. Secondly, collaborative relationships in recommendation systems are a significant signal. The, collabor the collaborative relationship between users and items propagates through interactions, ultimately revealing that similar, similar users have similar interests, while large language models lack domain specific knowledge and may struggle with this concept. For instance, in a supermarket scenario, although there is a strong uh, cooperation between the uh, milk customers and buying beer and the, the apples, these items appear semantically unrelated to large language model, which makes it uh, challenging for the model to recognize their connection. To address these uh, challenges, we are considering more optimizing ARM-based uh, agents to both perceive the evolution of user preference and understand the interaction uh, relationships between users and items in the domain. Specifically for the first problem, we propose that agents should be optimized dynamically. We want the agent to experience the historical interaction of a real user and grow up in continuous interactions. For example, the agent may initially process general preferences, but through the process of interaction, they continually refine their own understanding, gradually comprehending the user's preferences, and ultimately achieving alignment with the real users. For the second challenge, we propose a simultaneous simulation of a user and item agent. The interactions between these agents allow them to exchange and refine their simulated preference, effectively mimicking the process of collaborative filtering. This strategy aims to improve the agent's ability to detect uh, collaborative signals, leading to more accurate and uh, personalized recommendation. So next I will describe the approach taken by agent set in detail. Specifically, the first step to optimize the simulation of agent is uh, initialization. Due to the limited context length of large language models, uh, it is not possible to input all the historical interaction experience of an agent at prompt time to the large language model. Therefore, we need to design suitable memory modules to store and retrieve past experiences. 
Specifically for user agents, we equip them with a long-term memory module, which is a external vector storage, and a short-term memory module, which is a piece of uh, text. In the process of dynamic optimization, short-term memory can be directly modified, where long, uh, long, uh, uh, longer short-term memories are compressed into the long-term memory module, awaiting a uh, function retrieval. And we directly use some general preference information, such as uh, I enjoy listening to CD to initialize the memory. As we will see, this uh, general information can be optimized to align with real users' personalized preferences. For item agents, we aim to employ memory module to record their attributes and uh, the preference information of the users it has inter interacted with. Considering that the life cycles of items in computer systems are not as long as those of users, we directly equip them agent with short-term memory modules. And we employ item meta information for, uh, to make a initialization. Given the initialized agents, we aim for them to undergo complete experience of real user interactions. Continuous aligning their preferences and attributes with those of real users and items. To achieve this, we organize the data set in uh, chronological order and simulate the interaction progress. Uh, specifically, at each time step, we take out a ground truth item and a sample a negative item. We then present them to user agent and observe which item the user agent chose to interact with, so as to evaluate the alignment degree between the simulated agent and the real users. If the user agent mistakenly selects the negative example for, uh, for interaction, it indicates a misalignment with the real users. In such cases, we require the user and the item agent to reflect on the reasons for the error, such as uh, whether their preferences were incorrectly modeled or if the user item relationship was not adequately captured. Based on this feedback, they, just, uh, uh, they adjust their memory modules. Uh, if the agent makes the correct choice, it's just uh, a reasonable alignment achieved. At this point, we provide the agent with uh, feedback uh, affirming the correctness of their choices. Uh, through this uh, process, the agent continuously undergo real user interaction, continually adjusting their understanding and ultimately achieving a better alignment with the real users. So that was a general overview of the agent CF approach. Uh, in essence, we our most uh, our method bears many similarities to traditional collaborative filtering models. Traditional models employ uh, parameterized embeddings to represent uh, users and uh, items. We our approach utilizes text-based memory models to represent uh, users and item agents. The training process of traditional models involves the forward propagation and for preference evaluation, and the propagation to adjust uh, parameters. And our method follows a, a similar pro approach. We first allow the agent to interact autonomously to evaluate their alignment with the real users. Then through collaborative reflection, we optimize and refine their memory modules. It is important to emphasize that traditional methods have relatively weaker interpretive ability in terms of their parameterized representations. Whereas our simulated agents rely entirely to on text to represent information, offering better interpre interpreter ability. Especially uh, leveraging the autonomy of uh, the agent, we can also conduct uh, interesting simulation experiments. So in the experiment, we first tested uh, the recommendation ability of agent CF. We compared uh, various classical collaborative filtering and uh, sequential recommendation models, as well as uh, LM rank which utilize a large language model for their short recommendation. As we can see in the sample data set, our approach outperforms their baselines in most of us in scenarios, highlighting the effectiveness of a collaborative learning for simulating personalized agents. Furthermore, our model even achieves a comparable performance to traditional recommenders in the unfold data set when dealing with the sparse scenarios. In addition to recommendation tasks, the powerful agent can also allow us to conduct some interesting experiments. For instance, we apply a user agent to simulate interactions between users. Here, we explore the reactions of a user after reading another user's review. 
In the experiment, we have a group of user agents write reviews for clicked items. Uh, and the test the responses of other user agents. This re the result indicate that when user agents read the positive reviews, they are highly in inclined to purchase the corresponding items. Conversely, if the item has negative reviews, they choose to abandon them. This phenomenon also aligns with our human decision-making progress. Uh, first of all, since we also have uh, simulated item agents, we can simulate the interactions between items as well. We consider a cold start scenario, such as whether a new item can seek advice from other popular and well-trained items. As we can see through the interaction between new and old items, the cold start item can learn its suitable description text. In this case, even cold start items can be recommended effectively. Additionally, we can also simulate scenarios of multi-agent debates. Let's consider a scenario of refining advertisement content, where multiple agents engage in continuous debates, presenting modification suggestions to optimize the content of draft advertisement. And finally, it increases the probability of user clicks. Okay, that's all.